really exciting time for cardiac surgery because there are all options for treating some of the disease that were only treated with traditional surgical therapies. Here at Washington University, we have both cardiac and thoracic surgery combined. That's not true everywhere, but we have found it fantastic, both in terms of training residents, but also in terms of both specialties involved treating diseases of the chest, either the heart or lungs, and there's quite a bit of overlap in that. My background is in valve surgeries. I have trained after the formal cardiothoracic surgical training. I spent one year in the catheter lab, so I actually trained within the cardiologist. I also did six months of aortic surgery, but now my expertise is really shifting towards the valve therapies, and this includes both surgery and transcatheter approaches. I did the first robotic surgery in North America back in 1998. Dr. Kaneko is really a world expert in the transcatheter therapy, so we really feel that we have an exciting group of really talented surgeons in the treatment of valvular heart disease. Transcatheter valve replacements have been a game changer to both cardiology and cardiac surgery. Patients are able to undergo an invasive procedure with similar results in quicker recovery with TAVR. And as a result, patients who were high risk, intermediate or low risk can now benefit from that component. If we shift gears and talk about transcatheter mitral valve replacement, uh, we know that this procedure is investigational, so it's still undergoing an evaluation for a certain subset of patients who would otherwise be considered high risk or non-operative candidates. So it opens treatment options for patients who are symptomatic who did not have a good uh, treatment option prior. Robotic surgery has been used in cardiac surgery from the beginning. I would say that it gradually is taking off and we are applying it to different type of valve surgery. The most common surgery that is utilized is in mitral valve surgery. I think the innovation really comes in terms of the technology that the robots can provide, the accuracy of the movements, and the less invasiveness that it gives to the patients. It allows us to treat patients in a less invasive way. Robotic surgery now has developed into a huge field, and Dr. Kaneko is right now spearheading our program and advancing um, our abilities in that area. We provide something to a patient that has no other hope. In our institution, the heart team in, is made up of the cardiologists, cardiac surgeons, nurses, uh, anesthesiologists, echocardiographers, and anybody who participates actively in the patient care. We meet regularly to discuss the patients in addition to uh, appropriate selection uh, for their treatment options. Having a surgeon that is invested both in surgical techniques and transcatheter techniques really allows the valve team to go to the next level because the investment of a surgeon with knowledge in both transcatheter and surgery really allows us to discuss these options in a very fair fashion. And the cardiologists, unfortunately, can only provide the transcatheter therapies. So the surgeons will be more balanced with their opinions, which provides what's best for the patient at that time. So I think having these surgeons that have the skills in both surgery and transcatheter therapies are crucial to have a very effective valve program which is expanding all over the country. The start to, to the finish, I was treated with the utmost respect and um, empathy towards my condition. And uh, I just don't have enough nice things to say about the support staff, um, Dr. Kaneko and his team. Everyone's been very kind and, and very helpful getting me through this. I'm a firm believer that we could always do better. And I'm a firm believer that there's always a, areas of improvement in any intervention that we do, whether it be a surgical or a catheter-based intervention. I get motivated by the satisfaction that I get to treat patients who would otherwise be inoperable or not have uh, any therapeutic options, or potentially patients who we offer new therapeutic options who have a complete recovery without any significant pain or morbidity. And that motivates me to continue the, treating our patients on a day-to-day -day basis. We 
are in the forefront of innovation. And I firmly believe that in the field of cardiovascular medicine, including cardiac surgery, will continue to evolve. And we want to be in the front of that movement. I see an extremely bright future, definitely here under the leadership of Dr. Kaneko in cardiac surgery, and, but also around the country. I think uh, you're gonna see our, not only a growth in the number of cardiac surgery cases, but I think from a patient standpoint, the great thing is these are gonna be less morbid procedures that they can recover more easily.